What are the secrets to spiritual growth? Well, in answer to that question, according to Jesus Christ, those who repent of their sins and receive Him as Savior and Lord are born from above. And with this spiritual birth must come spiritual growth. It is crucial, therefore, to be intimately acquainted with the ABCs of spiritual growth. First, no relationship can flourish without constant heartfelt communication. This is true not only in human relationships, but also in our relationship with God. If we are to nurture a strong relationship with our Savior, we must be in constant communication with Him. The way to do that is through prayer. Furthermore, it is crucial that we spend time reading God's written revelation of Himself. I'm talking about the Bible. Because the Bible not only forms the foundation of an effective prayer life, but is also foundational to every other aspect of our Christian living. While prayer is our primary way of communicating with God, the Bible is God's primary way of communicating with us. And nothing, therefore, should take precedent over getting into the Word and getting the Word into us. Think about it. If we fail to eat well-balanced meals on a regular basis, we will eventually suffer the physical consequences. And what is true of our outer man is also true of the inner man. If we do not regularly feed on the Word of God, we will starve spiritually. Finally, it is crucial for new believers to become active participants in a healthy, well-balanced church. In Scripture, the church is referred to as the body of Christ. So just As our physical body is one, and yet has many parts, so too the body of Christ is one, but is composed of many members. Those who receive Christ as the Savior and Lord of their lives are already a part of the church universal. It is crucial, however, that all Christians become vital reproducing members of a local body of believers as well, as St. Cyprian famously put it, no one can have God for his father who does not have the church for his mother. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are of full age, that is, those who by reason of use of their senses exercise to discern both good and evil. Hebrews 5, verses 13 and 14.